be showing you how I sketch this on the shoe mode. This is a design which I've made earlier. I just want to show you how this was a design I made earlier and how I was able to draw it out and get it ready for a pattern transformation is what I will be showing you right now. So anyway, while working out with this, it's quite easy. As a crafter, it's very, very important. You have an idea of how you can draft your project out. Drafting your project out is you just representing your imagination, your uh, representing your project, whatever you want to do on the shoe mode. Oftentimes you want to craft as a, a crafter, you will have a picture, you want to make a rep complete replicant, you want to design something from the scratch, you want to, you would definitely have the way, either of the two ways, you must be able to draft it on the mode if you need to get your pattern out, pattern out. So to start with, working on this, what is, you need to do is for to first max the project out, the, the mode, the mode is the number one tool is very, very important in this project. You get your mode, your mode, you get your maxing tape, you max it, you cover it out all around. At the time you cover it all around, you need to get the mode divided into two symmetry. Divide it at the, la at the straight line to be, to be dropped in the two different equal parts. Once it's being dropped in two equal parts, in this particular project that I, I'm showing, I'm working on, the both sides of it, the two symmetry of it are of equal parts. So using one part of this project will give me the project, the, pro the complete part of this project. So I'll be working on the, I'm drawing on the just one side of it. And knowing that I'm drawing on the one side of it, I have to represent every section of this shoe on that single one side of this mode right now. This kind of project I'm working on is not so, it's not an official shoe. I need some basic calculation uh, uh, to get out. Do you still need to do some calculation? At the back, on the base, or uh, at the cut up line, cut up point in there, it's very, very important at the back you measure the height. In this particular project, we're going to use 6.5. It could vary based on the sizes you want to work on. If you work on a very big size and your foot as a uh, prey, you're working as a wider foot, you might get to use more, uh, it might get to increase to 6.7 or thereabouts, make it lower once you have to go on a smaller size. That is your major calculation that I got to do in this project. And then moving up in the instead part of it, no particular calculation. This was because this was made so easy and it, I was unable to calculate so much. I did not calculate so much because the project I'm working on, I, have the, a, I want to replicate, draw the pattern out, have a copy of it all before me. So it was so, so easy for me to just draft this out. So whatever, what will you do if you have to draft this out with a, an image, a soft image, a, Soft image you have on a, uh, on a tablet, on a phone, on a system that you want to make a computer replicant out. What you get to do in, the, in that system is that you will be doing a lot of assumptions. Going by the, the, the measurement I give on the latter, latter point of it, quarter point of it, that measurement will still go. But on the other part of it, a lot of assumptions is going to be made. Because on image, Measurement will not be details. What you just have to work with is the mode you want to use and how balance is. Knowing that shoe mode is being represented by, uh, is made in a form of human foot. So you have to draw it the way you want it to be on the foot. Drawing with pencil and then later come me mixing it with biro does not mean that it's important for you to draw with the biro. I'm just making this line to be more thicker. So you watching, or. Uh, Camera, me using camera to pick this up. My camera can be able to pick it up very, very well. That's why I use this by room. And working on this project, you don't need to be able to draw very well. You just need a sketch. Ability to sketch is what you just need to get this out. So you sketch it, and once you are not getting it right, that is why we advise in the first, I always advise, first thing is pick your pencil to draw sketch, make this sketching force. So once you sketch it, you are not getting it, you clean it up again. You're done sketching your project out, your project will not come out clean, 
you not really come out as what you have until those portion of it that is not in the shoe you have to cut it out just like the way i'm eliminating all those portion that is not meant to be with the shoe i just now eliminate that at the time i eliminate it now it now looks clean just like the complete replicant of this project that is just the basic way of drawing pattern out you can replicate this on any other designs just use this basic idea i'm so sure um I hope you've learned something from this video. If you've learned, please can you give me a thumbs up for this video, like, share, subscribe, and when you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and so you will be notified when I have awesome videos like this again on my platform. Sunday Iwale, and I look forward to have you in my subsequent upload.